Hey guys, it's Stoof here from Travel Season. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are gonna talk about the Iceberg Lake Hike in Glacier National Park, Montana. This is an incredible hike, about 9.5 miles. It's an out and back type of hike and it has just under 1500 feet elevation gain, which isn't too bad spread out over 9.5 miles. So I would rate this trail as moderate. This hiking trail is located in the many glacier section of Glacier National Park. So it's up in the Northeast section of the park. You do not need a reservation to drive this road. This is not part of the going to the sun road. However, if you're trying to get to this trailhead from the west side of the park, you're probably gonna have to take the going to the sun road to get up to the many glacier area. The Iceberg Lake trailhead is located about north, northwest of the Swift Current Motor Inn. I recommend parking in the Swift Current Motor Inn parking lot. It's a massive parking lot. There also is a very tiny parking lot at the trailhead, but it only fits like eight to 12 cars. Uh, so you're probably not gonna get a spot there unless you get there before sunrise. But it's a quick, short little walk from the Swift Current Motor Inn parking lot to get to the trailhead. From the trailhead, you will see a sign that says Iceberg Ptarmigan Trailhead. The trail goes a few different directions here. The Iceberg Lake Trail is the path you are going to take for this hike. We're hiking to Iceberg Lake. The trail starts out in a little bit of a forested area and then opens up to shrubs on a hillside where you have beautiful views of glacial valleys and different glacial carved rock features. Lots of wild flowers and wild berries. You continue along this path on the hillside for a few miles where eventually you come back into a forested area. You get a little bit of shade here. And you continue along this path. And this is where you start to first get views of the cirque. That's the glacial feature, that big um, amphitheater shaped rock face where Iceberg Lake is just at the base of, and you'll start hiking, continuing that path straight towards Iceberg Lake. And during this whole hike, you don't really feel like you're going up a crazy amount of elevation anytime at once. It's a moderate incline for sections of the hike, moderate descent. Uh, there, so this trail really is not that strenuous when it comes to the trail itself. When we hiked this trail in August, there was one little stream crossing. It looks like there are a couple other streams you could cross along the path, but they were mostly dry when we were there in August. Uh, but the one creek that you do cross over has a bridge and it has some beautiful little views there. Once you cross over that bridge, you know you're close to Iceberg Lake. And just before you reach Iceberg Lake, there is a pit toilet. This is one of the great things about Glacier National Park. They have some pit toilets installed along the hiking trails. So especially for the ladies, that is very convenient to have. So the pit toilet's right there, right before you get down to Iceberg Lake. And it is an incredible view once you get there. You have this massive amphitheater of rock wall with Iceberg Lake at the base. You still see lots of snow. When we were there in mid-August, there was still some snow and some ice floating on Iceberg Lake. The water on Iceberg Lake is that brilliant turquoise blue created by glacial flower from the glaciers, carving away rock and grinding at rock as it moves over valley floors and walls, uh, picking up these tiny little sediments of silt and clay. That's what the glacial flower is. And then it deposits in this lake. When these tiny particles are suspended in the lake water, the particles absorb the purples and indigos from the color wavelength spectrum, and the water absorbs the longer wavelengths like the reds and oranges and yellows. So what we see is what's bounced back at us, which is that blue and green color. So we get that brilliant turquoise. Once we got to Iceberg Lake and settled in, we found a nice little rock kind of away from the other peoples and sat down and had a little picnic together on our rock. And Nate discovered that his arch nemesis is the ground squirrel who kept pestering Nate the entire time he was eating his lunch. And Nate had to very carefully guard his food from this ground squirrel who just kept coming back at Nate for some reason. He left me alone, but he kept coming at Nate.
And after we had lunch, I tried walking into the water just a little bit to see just how cold Iceberg Lake is, as if you needed to question the temperature of Iceberg Lake with it being named Iceberg Lake. Go for a swim. Feels like an ice bath. Go for a swim. Man, that was really cold. After dipping my toes in the water, we packed up our things, turned around, and were about to leave as a grizzly bear pops out from the bushes. And I will share our thoughts on that with you right now. We were just having lunch at Iceberg Lake and we were about to start heading back on this little side trail. And we start taking our first step from our little lunch spot next to the lake on the rocks. And Nate goes, what's that? And then- <laughs> yeah, the, the bushes are kind of like moving and you can hear something moving in there. And then they just separate. And I was like, oh, is that like another person coming through? No. It's a grizzly bear. No, it was, yeah, it was the head of a grizzly bear followed by. <laughs> the rest of his body. So we uh, have our packs on the ground. We were actually stepping to pick up our packs to start walking. And uh, Nate's first reaction is to grab the pack that has yeah. the bear spray, which is good. So he grabs that and we both are just standing there and we're kind of in a spot where we can't go anywhere because we're on this little rock that kind of sticks that, out into the, the lake. Yeah, yeah. The bear's coming down towards that trail for us to get back. And I let other people know that we're sitting downhill from the bear, that there's a bear. I was like, hey, there's a bear. <laughs> and everybody was excited and turned around to look at it. But they also, I mean, they could have gone a little bit further away if they wanted to, yeah. but he basically left us alone. So the bear basically just kind of was looking around for some grub and was a little, a little nervous at one point because he started like sniffing the air mm -hmm. and that's when he started to kind of wind down towards, towards us, us a little bit and i'm like i have and an then, apple in my backpack yeah. <laughs> and then he, he just kind of started to meander kind of parallel to the water and then eventually just went up a up little up ridge line and started yeah. making his way away and we waited until the people on the other side of the uh lake couldn't see him anymore that he was far enough away that we could continue along the path that he was on earlier yeah. and we just started heading back and the hike back was just as beautiful as the hike over to the lake after we made it back to the parking lot we headed into the swift current motor inn to use the restrooms and also to grab some soft serve huckleberry ice cream in the gift shop which was incredible highly recommend I was inspired by this hike to create an oil painting, so here's my oil painting of Iceberg Lake. It was such a beautiful spot, I had to paint it. I also have coloring books out of my National Park paintings turned into coloring pages. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description under this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hearing about our hiking experience to Iceberg Lake. I absolutely recommend this hike. This was one of my favorite personal hikes in Glacier National Park. If you have any questions about this hike, leave a comment under this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our fun travel adventures. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.